Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. So I'm just gonna do a real quick video. Uh, I did a short here a minute ago about uh, tearing apart the truck to clean out the rat debris and the rat carcass. But I'm gonna do a quick video on how I, to put it all back together. So let's get into it. So one of the first things I noticed is the, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, see the wiring down there? See how the conduit doesn't have anything on it or the uh, wire wrap or whatever you want to call it. Um, I can't think of what it's called right now. But I gotta replace that and since I got a bunch to do this, I might as well do it while I'm under here. It's just gonna be easier to do it from under the truck because this is in the way and trying to reach down there. It'd be easier to lay under the truck and do it, just remove that skid plate. So we're gonna do that. And these are the things that I took out, the fan, because the big old rat was dead right in here, sitting in here. His leg was over here from, you know, deciding to try to escape through the fan and it didn't work for him. But you just gotta put it all back together. And I'll show you how to do that during this video. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this uh, little um, skid plate off. It's just plastic. It's held in by what looks to be four 15 millimeter bolts. That's kind of overkill for a plastic shield, but we're gonna pull that off there so we can get to the wiring for the fans and we can repair it. Um, I don't have any of the cloth tape I like, so we're just gonna use regular electrical tape. It won't last as long, but it'll be better than nothing. So that's what we're gonna do. Loud noises. So now we can get to the fan wiring right there and recover it with that. I wear safety glasses underneath there too. Just saying, and I lost my knife. There it is. So that's all it takes is just adding a little bit of that. So that should be good enough. Protect it for a little while. All right, so that wire's protected again. And I'm sure I have to replace a lot more as time goes on. So like every time I touch it, it crumbles, but we'll worry about that at a later time. It takes care of that one. So we get the shield back on. All right, let's get the fans put back in. All right, it's time to get this fan put back in here. Um, you gotta watch out for some, there's a hose down here that needs to clip into the top of it. Or there's a bracket, I'll show you that in a minute. So down here, you gotta just be careful when you're putting it in, cause that's gotta go on that. Um, same with these ones. So I'm just gonna get a bungee cord, get this out of the way. Get that zip tied up or get it bungeed out of the way, the upper hose. So it makes it a little bit easier to get it in. So let's do it. So one of the fun things is, even though I'm six foot five, this truck is tall enough that uh, it's a little difficult to get the thing to work on it. And that really did nothing, so that's too long of a bungee. That'll work for now. So this right here is the lower bracket I was telling you about. There's one up top too. But I'm just gonna get this down inside here. Still smell dead rat. So this is held in here with tabs for the lower mounts. I didn't think about showing you that, but they're down here, this tab right here. That goes into a slot further down on the uh, radiator, and then it bolts to the top. So there's that one. That one just drop in over here, no way. Yeah, I think so. There it goes. Then two bolts for the top.
For all of you that have been in the business for a while, y'all remember? And I still have one. Good old air ratchets. How they'd rip your arm off if you weren't careful. At least these ones don't uh, torque your arm apart. this big old grill here makes it even harder to get the things underneath here being yeah, a six foot five helps but and I think I've actually now that I'm 51 I think I've shrunk a little bit because I met up with a buddy of mine that I hadn't seen in a while and I remember being a lot taller than him and I'm not anymore I'm like, why isn't that reaching? Because I got this thing bungee cord. Get the bungee cord off there. Get the pressure off of that. So there's a clip right here. It goes in this hole right here. Um, and this hose clips in here. And the hose way down there. It clips into the bracket down below. And that is a power steering cooler. So there, 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 everything's tucked in. So now we just gotta get the air box put back on. So like I said, this freaking thing is loose. So I'm just gonna take it off to make it a little bit easier to install. The air box uses T20 Torx head bolts. Or screws. Mass airflow. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that. But just one of those things. All right, let's get the rest of this air intake put in. that when I was taking everything apart, I don't know. All right, we are good to go. And I did set a, a check engine light because the MAF sensor was unplugged when I moved the truck into the, the shop. But that's all there is to it. Let's fire up and see what happens. Good, let's go ahead and turn the fans on just to be sure that they're working. Yep, the fans kicked on. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. All right, so we got my little cheap scanner out here. And we go back, see P102, which is a mass or volume air flow, A circuit low, and number two is gonna be the same thing. We're going to clear that because the mass sensor is plugged back in now. Uh, erase codes. Yes. Working, working, working. Light went off. And command set codes remaining. None. Go back. And read codes. And not a, so we're good. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, this real short video on just putting the fan back in, the fan and the uh, air intake back onto the truck because I had to get a dead rat out of there. And I didn't show that because it's, you know, kind of gross, but at least you got to see how the fans go back together or back on. It looks like I got some tape down there I gotta fix up and uh, there is a, a wire hanger too that needs to go back on. That one looks like it's broken though, so. It probably won't, uh, this one right here. So it probably won't clip back in anyways. So, but if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down there and leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do, what I can do better. I know it wasn't much of a video, but at least a little something. And uh, subscribe while you're at it. So until next time, I will talk to you all later.